Today I'm at my little local little haunt. We're chasing flathead or pretty much anything else that's going to come along. As usual, I've got my favourite lure rigged up. It's a soft plastic. It's a Gobbler's Lures UV crock bait. It's a 3.75 inch paddle shad and it's rigged on a little 2.0 sickle hook by Sharp Point Jig Heads. Just using a little 2 to 4 kilo outfit. Uh, my little Shimano Sedona. We're in about a metre of water and we're just drifting over the flats. The idea with with casting soft plastics is you know we're on the last couple of hours of the run out tide it is a little bit later in the day but we're going to take advantage we're coming up to the new moon with the new moon comes obviously a, a particular cycle of activity oh i've got a fish and i got a little flathead scale dragging him Let's hope we can get him on board. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful. Little flathead. That's a, a really good sign. So he's nailed that little UV crock bait. He's only a couple hundred mil, but that's a, a good sign that this is a little healthy system. So, oh. That's okay. He'll live again to fight another day. Where there's one, there's most certainly, hopefully, going to be more. This time I'll, I might rig up a little curl tail grub, it's a motor oil, Gobbler's Lures. So the same, same brand of hook, same brand of lure. We're just going to spin around. We might just go back to that drop off. And let's see how we, we go. You can see just along here where the ripples are. And that's where we're casting up onto because it's likely that fish are going to be hanging on the the uh, the down current side of that this sandbank. They're waiting for little bait fish or little crabs or something to to come off into this slightly deeper water. Nine times out of ten, there should be fish here, but we'll just have to we'll just have to see. Let's see if that little flathead's brother's hanging around or sister or parents. For that matter. So the trick to working soft plastics is varying your retrieve. So there's there's a couple of different techniques. You can just do a, a slow wind and the odd pause. So it's just a couple of winds. That plastic will lift slightly up off the bottom. And that that little shimmying tail is hopefully going to entice the bites. Now with the, the curl tails, even when they're still the tail still has a bit of a flick so the, um, the lure still maintains a, a level of action. The other technique I like to use is the, the hop hop. So it's where you do a couple of winds, getting back out on the, the drop off there again. So you do a couple of winds and the little hop hop and that will create that, that vibration from that little curl tail which again, predatory fish detect those vibrations. Flathead are also quite a visual um, predator. So they'll, they'll bury themselves down in the mud. They'll typically face up current. And when they do that, they've got their eyes on top of their head and they can spot any potential little picking um, as it's coming past them or, or coming towards them. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was pretty cool. It's got a little flatty on the, the new switch prawn. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Yep, come on little psychopath. Ah! There we go. <laughs> a little baby flathead. That was pretty cool. Oh, and I got spiked. You gotta be careful, and that was only a little model too, so. Um, thumb's hurting a little bit at the moment. Spikes on the side of his body. Oh, that freaking hurt. Those little ones tend to be real tricky little buggers to to handle. I'm actually fishing 
a bit of a drain so it's coming off the flats out of out of the creek it's an ideal ideal location to to fish for flathead because they'll be waiting for, for things to pop out of the drain beautiful right up into that drain Alrighty, so I'm just going to give this um, little dial a double clutch a go. I'm going to troll down this channel, and um, this has got a really nice little bait fish profile and a lot of a lot of sparkle. So we'll see if we can tempt a tempt a strike on the troll. As luck would have it, just as I didn't have the the, uh, the GoPro set up, I've just been casting this little 3.75 inch paddle shad in a lime slammer by Gobbler's Lures, and I managed to secure myself a slightly better flathead, but hopefully it doesn't go absolutely mental like it is now. Okay, there we go. Whoop. Oh shit, slightly better flathead. Caught on that little lime slammer. It's a nice little one. I just want to get a measurement on him just so. Oh my god, there's Lewis Bragg, Matt. Ah, and he goes 42 centimeters. And I reckon I'm going to put him in the box because we haven't got any flooded in the freezer at the moment. So that's um, that's a welcome little catch. A good pan eating size, not bad. Not bad, pretty good. These gobblers, Lewis brag mats are beautiful. The beautiful blue color allows the fish to contrast magically against that and um, yeah, good bit of gear. And if you haven't got one, you need to hurry up and get yourself one because look how easy that is to stow and fold up. Perfect for your kayak. So just over here, you can probably see where my rod tip's pointing. Um, we've got this little, this whole weed bed. Uh, it's now exposed because of low tide. And um, we're just trying to fish this little edge where this little mouth uh, of this drain is because I dare say there's got to be something sitting in there as the tide goes out and the bait begins to wash down the flats and off the flats. There we go. Got a flatty. So it's certainly a... Oh, it's got a bit of an eye defect, little bugger. There we go. Looks like he's got a bit of a damaged eye, but it hasn't hurt his sight. That's fantastic. Little dude. Woo! On the UV crock bait. 3.75 inch paddle shad. This is a very, very healthy system. Really, really pleased that I made a decision to come here this afternoon. Because it's absolutely fantastic. Even if they're only small fish, it doesn't matter. We're still catching fish. Even if it is the Junior Burger Club. Oh, 
this is fantastic casting with the wind gets you a chance to get a, a good lob down wind well I can certainly say this has been a cracker of a session on the small flooded and it doesn't matter if there's small flat or big flooded you know I've, I've got one keeper it, it is a bit of a small meal it just goes to show as you work these little edges and you find a little bit of structure it could be bait flicking it could be uh, a little bit of a, a change in the current all sorts of little things can lead to to success with flicking your soft plastics where there's structure where there's bait there's fish i'll try that little vibe again so we can hammer it into those little little hardy holes and this little switch prawn jagged me a little flathead earlier let's see if we can do the same um, as we're fishing down the, the mouth of this little estuary punch it punch it oh geez and there was a fish that it nearly I reckon what he nearly hit scared the shit out of it either way <laughs> I jagged a whiting <laughs> oh that's funny I jagged him through the through the back end so well yep there he goes <laughs> oh man this is total Title chaos. Ooh. Fish on. Up, 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 up. I think we just had a bite on this one. Oh, fish on. <laughs> we got a double hookup. Double hookup, a baby flattered. <laughs> oh, shit. Fantastic. So, put him between my legs. Unhook him. That was caught on the the um, pink eye suji and the jackal squirrel suspending trolling. Whoop. And this little bugger. Where is he? There he is. This little bugger. <laughs> Double hookup. Got his little mate. Um, he's on a dial a double clutch, so we'll. we'll send him overboard and then we'll deal with old mate here now I don't don't know if we should put him between the legs yep yeah, that's probably a safe bet do some surgery ah yeah I don't like it too mate do some surgery ah Cool. Two little flatties on the troll. Cool. What a cracking session on little flatties. The system is alive and well. That is for sure. Must have just gone over to school. But... Good sign that there's fish here. So we're just going to head off home now. Pedal back up to the boat ramp. Really appreciate if you've tuned in today and seen the, the bounty of little flathead that I've caught been a hell of a fun session a bit of an unusual time of the day and it was a bit last minute choice but we got there in the end thanks for watching if you really enjoyed this video stick around for more episodes of nv fishing oz my name's matt don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment about any of the things you've seen on today's video